Researchers from Cal State Long Beach are expanding efforts to study shark behavior along the Del Mar coastline. It comes as more sightings have been reported in the area. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on the work being done and why experts say this type of research is needed. Experts say the white shark population has increased since becoming a protected species in 1994. Now just about 100 yards off the coast here in Del Mar, there's a large number of juvenile white sharks using the area as a nursery. Lifeguards here are working with researchers to track them in hopes of figuring out why they're here and their impact on beachgoers. Drone video captured over Del Mar shows just some of the juvenile white sharks researchers from Cal State Long Beach have been tracking. We've seen up to 10 sharks at a time in an area probably the size of two football fields. Dr. Chris Lowe is a professor of marine biology and director of the shark lab at Cal State Long Beach. Last week, he gave a presentation at the Del Mar City Council meeting to update city leaders on what his research has shown, saying Del Mar, as well as neighboring Solana Beach and Coronado, are quickly becoming Southern California hotspots. Those sharks are using this nursery area in San Diego in a way that we haven't seen in the past. Not only are the sharks there and they're coming back to that location, but we've seen sharks over winter there. And that's something that we haven't seen in many of the other locations. Dr. Lowe says warmer water and an abundance of stingrays, which they feed on, are contributing factors. As for whether or not they pose a threat to people, he says the chances of getting attacked are very low. We have lots of video footage of sharks in and amongst surfers and swimmers, but they don't seem to be bothering people. Still, Dr. Lowe says behaviors change, which is why this research is so important. Using drones, tags, and underwater receiver buoys, he's able to map out a shark's movement. In 2020, he and his team detected 21 sharks in San Diego County alone. Using state funds, he's working to tag more and add additional receivers. Ideally, he'd like to be able to let the public know where and when they can expect to encounter a shark. He's also studying the economic impact of beach closures as they relate to shark sightings. How long will the sharks be there and when will they leave? And of course, the lifeguards really want to know that because once those aggregations are there, they're usually dealing with shark sightings on a daily basis. Dr. Lowe says you'll likely see sharks between now and early fall here. His advice, be aware of your surroundings. So if you see fish jumping or birds diving, that could be a sign a shark is near. Thanks, Shannon. Experts say the white shark population has increased since becoming a protected species.